Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I have to show you guys something. We've got, uh, we've got the selfie cam set up, right? And this is my favorite part of it because it's got like a wide angle lens, sort of, so you get a little bit of that. Actually, there's two fun things to this. So this is the selfie cam. The thing that I like about it is that if I makes my arms look, I don't know, maybe me. The other thing is Eric hiding back there in the dark can roll in and just, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Okay, I, I am making some changes to the audio. Hopefully that makes things a little bit better for you guys um, as far as things cutting in and out. Um, all of this stuff that we're doing is always uh, super professional. We don't know what we're doing. We're just having fun. <clears throat> I hope that the audio is better now. If it's not, I guess we can restart the stream. But I think it may just be that we had some of the, the settings off. This is actually a different computer than we streamed on last time. So we may have missed a checkbox here or there, something like that. I don't know. Um, sounds better already. Okay, good deal. Yeah, so I think we had, um, I don't know how technical anybody would really want me to get with this, but the software that we use gives you the option to just minimize all noises below a certain level. For those of you that were watching when we first started doing this, we had a whole lot of background noise which we've eliminated some of the noise itself, but the software also allows us to try to just cut out things that are below a certain decibel level, but sometimes it works better than other times. So better so far, much better, sounding good, perfect now, sounds great. Yeah, okay, good. Well, hey, maybe that's all it was. So now I'm kind of wondering so, if this thing does work and it was just... Right, so we need to find... Hey, will you look up in that... Of course, it's the lower one. I don't yeah. know if you can reach that. Uh, I think we've got a 2S battery. So for those of you that are wondering what the heck we're doing right now, uh, a couple things are happening. One, I'm going to hot glue my Hey OK controller back where the other one was after I route the wires properly. And by properly, I mean just kind of tuck them out of the way. Um, but I, th I suspect that the Hey OK controller that was in here before, I think I just accidentally had a 6-volt controller in here or a lower voltage controller, whatever, and just didn't even realize it. So the reason that it wasn't working probably isn't because there's anything wrong with the controller. It's just that I was using one that's meant for lower voltage because sometimes I make mistakes. And by sometimes, I mean like all the time. Well. So I'm just gonna glue this down right now. Let's see how long the hot glue holds. Okay, so let's see. The best way to test this, I guess. Yeah, unplug that let me here. unplug this guy. I just plugged this in, so I'm gonna unplug this guy. So, Man, it's Godzilla put that thing in there. And then I need to go back and yeah, you might want to watch out because your shoulders. Yeah, I know. I'll yeah. get it. You don't have to do it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm I'm just doing this for sheer morbid curiosity, I guess you could say. I'm kind of surprised the radio hasn't started yelling at me since I've neglected it for so long. It's radios they get lonely. All right, so let me see. This should wait a second. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I don't even remember how the BBC is getting power out. Oh, it's right in there. Okay, God. Oh, right. No. Oh, yeah. Ha ha. I'm like, hey, how come it didn't turn on? Well, I don't have any power connected. And that's usually an integral part. Wow, did this get melted? There we go. Okay, so. So now we got power to this. Nope. Okay, yeah, it is just dead. Well, oh well. So one controller down the tubes. Okay. So now you know it's. Now dead. I know. That's officially dead. It is officially dead, and knowing is half the battle. Yeah, that's right. I gi would you. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, 
so let's see what did I just unhook this six the one with the six so this can go in the trash actually we can save this I'm sure I can come up with some use for this I don't know what it's gonna be but you know you got to have that box of just stuff okay so this should be good to go Get this plug back in That'll be out of the way. This is here. Get this back on. So what's everybody else up to tonight? Oh my, okay. Well, yeah, so I'm I'm glad that it's better. Did my VUC predate the Mattzilla VUC? Yes. Yes, it did. Yeah. So our, my VUC, when I say my VUC, it's really Devlin, Devlin. Shipley's VUC, uh, was the original, original VUC. Um, it is, uh, showing its age, I guess, right? So Devlin drives hard and was not gentle on it and as well as he built it, but actually, you know, I, I feel like the cracks in the body somewhat make it, that you give know, a actually, wait a second, I, should I put this on first, right? Does that go on? Oh, no, it's okay. They're separate. For some reason, I felt like this also clamped this down, but that yeah. would be... I thought they were maybe they were redundant. I'm, I've considered electrical taping. Liquid electrical tape. It's my best friend and my worst enemy. Makes everything nice and waterproof and also impossible to reopen. No, it's not impossible. It just makes it super awesome fun. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Okay, so we got this good so we're good right this is good yeah Everything right now yeah. plug 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 yep. plug loop you can unplug that because it's yep. just wasting yep. electricity i can cool turn off. this right. off put that over there with the pile of crap all right what's next uh track bar track bar yeah just needed to hydrate Woo. okay so for this truck, I did some things. Yeah, what did I do on this thing? So I kind of, um, how do I explain this? I, I relocated some things. Uh, it's probably hard to tell in the video, but I shortened the wheelbase in the front of this truck. This was before the Traxxas Bronco came out. And I did some trimming on some things so you can maybe see in there I don't know I can't get too close because I know it won't always really focus very well but oh wait see I always forget that I can just do this Whee! yeah so some stuff got trimmed in here <clears throat> the wheelbase is a little bit shorter um, while I was doing all of that stuff and, and I did that because I squished the front bumper in did all these things to fit the Proline Bronco body on here. And as you can see, well, maybe you can't. Let's see. Yeah, I guess you can. My track bar, a.k.a. Panhard, is not a factory piece. Um, I had to kind of, what's the best way to light that thing up? I guess right there, yeah. So I had to basically just make one out of all thread. And it, it just barely sneaks past this rod end in here. Man, I really wish I had like a spotlight I could just right there. Anyway, we need flashlights. More more lights. I I need to clean this truck. It's just dropping dirt everywhere. <clears throat> anyway, so this track bar is completely temporary. But I want to make a better version as we did with the SCX 10 2 and a lot of people like those track bars that we made the maximum clearance or max clearance track bar I am looking at doing something similar for the TRX 4 for the people that do want to jack around with their wheelbase like I did because this is just you know it's not that much thinner but when you take into account how much space you get with the smaller rod ends and the smaller 
uh, I guess the all thread instead of the big tube pipe, whatever. Um, you just get a little more space to mess around with things in the front. So it works better for me. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the stock setup. <clears throat> but anyway, so this is basically my, my temporary piece. And I'm kind of torn. So, you know, maybe you guys, everyone feel free to chime in. So we could either do something like what we did with the SCX 10 2. What's up? What? Oh, is it off? Did I bump it? No? Oh, you bumped it, didn't you? Yeah. Eric bumped it. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so we could either do a track bar similar to like what we did with the SCX 10 2. Come on, focus. Focus, camera, pan down. Um, or we could make something similar to, you know, like the links that we make, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like this offers maybe a little more adjustability. You don't have to have the spacers and everything. Yeah. You know, I don't, this I don't... also offers more space under there to sneak past everything. So this is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I've been hoping for, you know, like a high clearance, you know, like you, like you said, you know, for the, yeah. um, like you've done for the S, you know, for the SX-10 too. Yeah. Uh, so this guy, I just want to double check measurements. So this also uses the slightly smaller Traxxas rod ends that we use on a lot of things. For me, I find these rod ends to be great because I use them on everything, pretty much. There's nothing wrong with these giant hulking massive rod ends other than just they're, they're big, man. Um, you're probably never gonna break these in terms of actually just tearing them apart. I don't know that they offer a whole lot more durability over these. I find that these things last for a pretty long time. But since I'm already using these in so many places, I kind of like to just have one type of rod end in my parts box whenever I can make that happen. So that's what I'm looking for. So <clears throat> just to make something that looks a little bit nicer, I've got this guy. Uh, and I want to try to line it up with this, make it the same length, and then we will try to do this on camera. So whenever I need to make links that are the same length, man, that's getting hard to say. Uh, I like to use just tools like this. I don't know if that's square to the camera. Maybe I should back back out a little bit. So I just like to use my, my standard tools like this. And if you slide them through both of the rod ends once they're assembled, um, you'll find pretty quickly you can figure out, hey, are these the same length or not? And is fairly evident, I think, in the camera that these are right now not the same length. So I need to adjust this guy in a little bit. So I'm going to try again. Let's see. That looks closer, but still too long. It's I'm trying to do this so that you guys can see it, but it's not always super easy to line things up for the camera and be watching it at the same time. Uh, let's see. Now, I feel like it should be pretty close. Does that look pretty close? Or do I need another half turn? Can't tell. No, I think it's spot on now. I mean, man. I'm gonna do a half turn, because I like to do half turns. I don't know why I said that. So you are getting asked, are you trying to get more travel? No. Nope, I am happy with the travel. So what I did with the TRX4 was I shortened the wheelbase in the front. And when I did it, I found that things were kind of compressed, right? So in order to fit a pan hard in there, I wanted to use smaller parts because this is awesome and really strong and it fits with the stock stuff great. But because I tweaked my wheelbase, Again, I made it shorter, so I moved my shock towers back. You probably can see the, it's not centered on the camera, but you can see the old hole right there. So I just popped new holes, moved everything back. I did that a long time ago. I don't remember how many holes I popped. I don't remember how far I moved it back, but everything got moved back. So uh, I made this guy just as a temporary fix. This is also probably fairly temporary. Um, but I want to get the, yeah, and those are the same now. So really what I wanted to do was I want to have two of these. This way I have a spare. 
I'm not going to keep this guy hanging around, um, but I want to measure this so that I know, I'm going to guess this is like 40, what do you think? I'm going to guess 47. It's my guess. I don't know why I'm making this a guessing game, but it's fun. Pretty close. 47 and a half. So if I make this out of threaded pipe, I'd probably make it 46. That way people can add a spacer or not. Or maybe 47, because, you know, sometimes things change. Anyway, <clears throat> how well does it flex? Um, it should flex as well as a stock one. I haven't changed any anything that I think would impact that. I don't know. But you know what? I'll put it back together and I don't know, we can have a flexing competition. I don't know. It's not a flexing competition. I can display its magnificent flex. Let's see, get in there. See your RTI score. Yeah, we don't have an RTI ramp in here, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Am I putting this? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, putting it in the wrong spot. I was wondering why that wasn't getting tight. That's, man, I don't know how many of you guys are fans of The Office, but I feel like I just dropped these fantastic, that's what she said, opportunities all over the place when I'm doing this. Oh, now I dropped it. <laughs> More ha ha ha. <laughs> Let's see, got my face in the camera here, but sorry if I am getting my face all up in the camera. And I don't remember which hole was being used stock. Looks like the lower hole, okay. I do like that they made that double shear since it's plastic, but then why is that double shear and the axle mount is single? Of course, I guess the axle mount is Significantly thicker. I don't know. Just trying to get this back in there. Maybe I need to get like a a light that I can put right here. You know, that would cast light right here, so that when I do stuff like this, this lights up really well. I don't know. <clears throat> I feel like I always mess with the exposure settings and everything to try to get it all good. What is the secret to working on the servo horn without taking the whole front end apart? <laughs> uh, hmm. Um, I don't know. I haven't considered that. Um, when you say working on the servo arm, sorry, I'm, I'm looking at things and I'm, I'm forgetting that there's a camera. When you say working on the servo horn, you mean just changing it out? I'm thinking he's talking. I think right. Paul. Yeah, I guess because that's in the way. I'm thinking Paul is talking about uh, to get to the screw that attaches the horn onto the servo. Yeah. Um, Paul, my my guess, <clears throat> because I'm I haven't done it right now, but let's see. I'm gonna guess that if I try to line this up, it's kind of in the way. And this is angled, right? So that doesn't go in cleanly. Is that what you're talking about? The number seven. Matt, I don't know. The number seven. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, Paul, I'm thinking probably maybe the easiest thing to do would be to, I think if I take this shock out, then the axle will drop, right? Yeah, okay, that's okay, what it yeah. So, if I do this, right, so if I unleash the shock, so I get a little bit more space in here, I get a little bit of a better angle, that's, and that's my tool, straight on. my tool goes in. Um, that's what I would suggest. So, I mean, it's, it's in there. As far as getting it on and off, you know, fingers, I don't know, but that's all I could think of. Hey, Tommy, what's going on? So I think, let's see, where are we? 
on time. For some reason, I thought this thing told me how long. Yep, there we go. Oh, we're only 35 minutes in. Yeah. Well, we've actually gotten two things done <clears throat> in 35 minutes. And last time it took us like an hour and 10 minutes to change out two shocks. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. So the only other thing I have left that I was considering doing on this bad boy tonight was adding some scale hardware. Uh, are you down? Let's see. This thing needs a bath. This thing needs a whole new body. I really want to get a 3D printed body for this truck because I want it to basically, I, I know a lot of people don't like the Proline Bronco body because they say, <clears throat> well, they don't say, they're absolutely right. So the rear wheel well on this guy, this is not, this is not, this is not right compared to a one-to-one. -one. Um, <clears throat> hey, look at that. Just forgetting things already. Did I do that side? Yeah. But the thing that I really like about this body I'm not usually a fan of Lexan bodies, but I love Broncos. I had a Bronco that was this color scheme, but flipped. I like this body because the approach and departure angle are ridiculously awesome. And that's why I think they moved this rear wheel well back. In fact, on the other side, they even put the gas tank fill. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to catch that in the lighting. They put it in front of the wheel well and it's supposed to be in the rear. But So I wish I could get a 3D printed body made of this and then do a full interior. I think I still have one of those old H2 interiors. <clears throat> now look, there are much better interiors out there than the things that I use in terms of weight. If you're trying to make a lightweight comp rig, but for me, there's just something about those, I guess, what do you even call that? I don't know. Those big thick plastic bodies from those old Radio Shack H2s that are just, they can take a beating. They keep just keep going. Well, it's not that the interior takes a whole lot of beating. Hopefully, it's just. But they're just more detailed out. Yeah, they're they're just detailed. It feels it just like looks, realistic. Yeah, because it doesn't. Have, I don't know. Anyway, so I think we are. Oh wait, no, I'm, we're not done with this. So scale hardware. So I was kind of thinking that there are some slightly visible screws on this truck, and when I go to take pictures of this truck, you know. Really, what I, I don't know if you guys can see down what's in here. I feel like it's probably a little too dark. Um, but, whoa, getting closer. Yeah, I think it's just not, I think there's not enough light. Did you just put a light on? Yeah. Oh. So, not, anyway, some of the screws down in the, the chassis, the shock towers, where these links mount. I feel like I could replace those with some of our scale hardware. I think it might just dress it up a little bit. Uh, when I'm going to take pictures, and although I don't have wheel wells in here yet, <clears throat> um, I think that would just kind of increase the scale look. You know, of course, there are other things that I maybe I could do that would make it more scale looking, like replace the the clips, something. But I don't have anything to replace them with. So Rob is asking, moment. where did you get your roof rack from? Rob, the roof rack, uh, not uh, the roof rack is an SCX-10-2 roof rack. These little brackets, I don't even know what we call those. So we sell these on the Shapeway store. Will you grab the SCX-10-2? Yeah. <clears throat> so the roof rack is just an SCX-10-2 roof rack. And Eric is grabbing the SCX-10-2 right now so you can see. Mm -hmm. All right. Ah! But what I did was I took off this front portion from the SCX-10-2. Basically the right? light bar. The light bar. And I just printed these things out so that it drops it down. I had this on, on this guy originally. I haven't even driven this truck yet, so that's why this is still on here. But this, just every time I'd get down into like a ditch or something coming through, this you know would tilt over. It would catch. It was making me crazy. So I have these guys uh, on there. Those are actually... I feel like they're on our Shapeway store. I'm uh, I think they are, yeah. Two percent positive that they are. But you could grab yourself 
an SCX-102 roof rack. I like it that it's plastic because it slides off of everything, and that's that's what I wanted. Um, what were we doing? We're drinking. That's what we're doing. Matthew says JS JS scale. Um, I'm guessing he's talking about like you know, how you're asking about uh, the um, or you how you're wanting a 3D printed body. I think JS scale oh. does 3D. Thank you, Matthew. Yeah, I talked with someone about 3D printing a body. My hope was um, that they'd be able to do it, but I think I, I kind of lost track of that because things happen summertime. <clears throat> anyway, so what do you think? Should we put scale hardware in here or should we tear into the H2? Um, I say tear in, I say do the scale hardware on the, because you do grab that truck. Well, you drive both. But. Well, I drive both, yeah. But, you know, I almost kind of want to wait on the scale hardware okay. until I get the body and the wheel wells and everything else done, because that way when I go to put the scale hardware on, I feel like it'll complete it. It's like the, the ribbon on the package. Yeah. All right, so we'll grab the H2. So we are going to go grab the H2. Sure, you want to take that? Sure. Right, you know, oh, this thing is so freaking heavy. Hey, Ten people. pounds. Woohoo. Okay, and let's see. Dirty. Yeah, it's dirty. So this is the super clean. And by clean, I mean it, it, it's, it's pretty dirty. Um, H2. I don't want to distract people with me being there. That's okay. I hit a button while you were doing this because when I hit, yeah, you're good. So anyway, so we're going to tear into this H2 and I can assure you that we are not going to finish this tonight because, whoo, look at this thing, man. This thing has just been beaten to death. All of the, no, not all of them. The middle blinker is just crushed. How did that even happen? <laughs> So I know, you know, the you, corner ones are gone on the front. I can't believe this long one in the back is still there. That's that's like the first one that usually comes off on these bodies. Uh, I've gone through a whole bunch of these bodies, and it's not that I've actually broken the bodies. It's just that I I tear them up, and then, you know, before I go to a big comp, I competition will do that. I get another one and then clean it up. And uh, this is the what is this? This is the first SEX-10 that I ever got. Yeah. This is back when I was an Axial Team driver. Um, I think that's actually when the SEX-10 first yes, came out. Yes, this was the first. So this was the like the AX-90007. I believe that is the part number for that. So these axles that we're going to put under here are SSD Dana 60s. These are... Pretty hard to find at this point. I, I think you could probably snag some off of eBay if this is something that you want to do. Uh, there are there are still some for sale out there. I got one metal diff cover that I'm going to put in the front, just the front. I'm yeah. still I go back and forth between putting these on here or putting them on the bottom. I Can't know. help you there. Yeah, I know. Man, this thing's dirty. I think we're just going to put it on here because why not? Oh God. So this truck is about 10 pounds dry. <laughs> it's 15 wet. Yeah, it's like 15 wet. Uh, so it yeah. is also the intergalactic it scale is, champion. Yeah, it is the intergalactic scale champion truck. Yeah, so this truck, I've, I guess, I think this is like the fourth body maybe that I've put on this truck. And I don't think I'm going to replace the body again. I might clean this one up. But, um, you know, this, this was my first truck, so it's got a special place in my heart. I'll never sell it um, unless I fall on hard times. Uh, no, I'll never sell it, um, but in the body, look, hey, it's an H2. Everybody hates H2s. I get it. But when I put this on here, you didn't have a whole lot of options for hard bodies. Not back then, though. It was what? Uh, a Yoda, maybe? Defender? Uh, there was like three hard bodies, I think. So this thing is actually pretty detailed. You guys will never be able to see into the interior. 
um, with any sort of reasonable being able to see anything in there. It does have a full interior seats, dash, steering wheel. There are two figures in there. It's hard to see in the light. Um, I have the lights work here in the back. Let's see. You can probably see I've got this little setup where these contacts actually touch on the body. So that's what provides the juice for the lights. The body comes down, the posts go into here, and these little contacts have springs, so they get some pressure. Woohoo! That setup has actually worked really well for me. I wonder how old this dirt is. There may be fossils in here. Probably. Oh, God. I'm going to have to vacuum in here. So I got a question for you. Ask your question. Um, how many scale comps have you been, or do you remember that your truck has been in? Like I big. Don't know. Um, every time I went to nationals, I I brought this thing. I don't, I don't know. And then all I mean all the local stuff. Well, I'm not talking local. I'm just yeah. talking like big. I don't know. That's that's a good question. And then I brought it to. Where did we go? Which time? Because there's been many times. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> it's been around. It's been, so it's, I think I alluded to. I say it's been around the country yeah. a lot. So back when I uh, put this guy together, this is one of those old Radio Shack boxes that I cut some holes in, and I basically made bulkheads and did all of this mess with elect liquid electrical tape, because this was all back before. I don't. I mean, I'm sure there were waterproof receivers and, and stuff, and they were all like boat parts. Um, so I kind of had to make do with what I had. I haven't really changed anything, but, you know, this I'm not going to get into that right now. If I start taking that apart, holy crap. Yeah. Just focus it'd be, on the It'd be access. bad. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, it'd be bad. So let's see. I'm thinking maybe we'll start – I feel like the rear is going to be easier. Yeah. I would. So we're going to start with the rear. Because, <clears throat> so this truck also, when I assembled the suspension for this truck, I don't know if this is going to show up in the light or not, but let's see. So there is kind of a makeshift three link in here. How do I get more light into here? Maybe it's visible. I don't know. So this link CMS kit started life as a hand brothers kit uh, and that plate is still on there I had to tweak that thing so much I basically can you see it in there maybe uh, I had to cut all sorts of stuff apart to get it to work because I needed the suspension to sit a certain way uh, as you can see the shocks in the rear are super short that's all there is and the front end is crazy, crazy floppy. I mentioned this in one of my other videos. This is just how I set my trucks up because in the one-to-one -one world, I have, uh, I think, the most wheeling time in a, a Jeep Cherokee. So I'm kind of used to having a, it's going to sound bad, but a stiff rear. <clears throat> I'll just let that one go. Anyway, I don't even know why I was talking about that, but it's fine. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to start by replacing uh, the, I guess the rear, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. These may even be like some of the older style hubs. Nope. Okay, we're okay. Yeah, they are definitely are the older ones because there's not as much meat on them, and I haven't taken this off in years. Woo. Okay. Got one hub off. <laughs> well, that's good to know that they they get on there nice and tight. I haven't seen those wheels in a while. Nice and dirty. Yeah. We should have like a truck washing party <laughs> one night. Just let these things soak in the tub. Okay. Travis says, right I like, like the wheels. Who makes those? <laughs> uh, I make these, Travis. These are adversary wheels with a golden chromate finish. I don't know if we even have any of these left. Um, and there are black agile rings, although I suspect... Oh, okay, now I see... <laughs> now I see the winky face. Eric didn't mention there was a... Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know... But uh, it's just it's good to stuff. God. <laughs> so messy. So, it's not really that messy. Yeah, it's messy. 
Uh, okay, so let me see. Wow, I guess just everything has to come apart. You know what? Let's see. I'm only getting, I don't need this right now. Which one of these is the front? I guess they're both the same, right? Yeah. yeah. So let's put that stuff over there and then keep this off. You know, yeah, they're the same. The, uh, yeah, they're the same. Yeah, yeah, buddy. So let's see. We can take this apart. Where is my little set? Pliers. Oh, oh yeah, man. these are for the. Okay. What? So are we gonna? Are you gonna pull? No, oh, yeah, we're we're gonna have to pull everything out. Well. Oh we, God, these are the ones I filled with marine grease, aren't they? <laughs> We've got a big surprise coming. It's like, actually it's not a surprise because I already know it's there. But <clears throat> back when I built this truck, because I did so much submarining, it's a shame that I don't have like pictures that I can just put up of how much I used to submarine this truck. I don't know. Um, I used to submarine this truck so much that I just filled up the, the axle housings with some red marine grease. And that was like, when was that? 2000. Uh, when did this truck come out? Like, two, like was it? 2011? Like, uh, I don't know. 2000? No, it's older than that. I it's older than that? Like, I don't remember how old I am. Eight, nine, somewhere around yeah. there? I don't know. Old. So basically, there's been marine grease in here. I'm going to open this up, and there's going to be, like, toxic fumes that escape. We're both going to pass out. If you see me pass out, you know, hit the F12 button, because that's the technical difficulties thing. You know, that way people will know that we're, we're dead. These things happen, you know. Yeah. Oh, and for those of you that maybe are eyeballing or can even see, you know, I wonder if I... Let's just play around with this. I am going to jack jack with the settings one more time. You guys tell me if this makes things better or worse as far as being able to see what I'm actually doing. Can you guys see the truck better now or does that white it out too much? Just let me know. Because <clears throat> I can always go right back to how it was. But... My my hope would be that maybe you guys can see things a little bit better now. So yeah, this thing is going to be full of disgustingness. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I kind of wish we were just throwing away all the insides, but, you know, I don't want to do that. Because that's not what someone else would do, because that would just be wasteful. I mean, I want to, but I'm not going to. Never. Is that going to fit in there? Yeah. Come on out. Hey, I, uh, I know it's brighter. Is it better? Or is it just brighter? Like, my goal was to make it... Where did that nut go? My goal... There you are. Oh, you little punk. You got it? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> my goal was to make it... Uh, I don't know. Not just brighter, but actually so that you could see more. But on on one of my monitors, it looks perfect. But on the other one, it looks like maybe I've made it too bright. So you guys tell me, is it too bright or is it now awesome? And what is this little window up here? I don't know. Let's just, I'm afraid to close it almost. Close the find bar. Oh, we must have hit control F somehow. Yay. Computers. Ah. Okay. Okay, let me see. So I've got that was the bottom. That was the top. Where'd my other bottom screw go? Did I lose the screw somewhere? Or is it, oh, it's still in there. Aha. Success. That's good. Okay. I think it's better. I can see more for sure. Okay, great. Thank you, guys. Yeah, anytime you guys are watching, if I need to crank the light up, down, turn sound up, down, y'all just let me know. I will do what I can. I try to not restart the stream because then it boots people off and jacks with my recording and just, you know, all becomes a hot mess. Let's see. That can stay up there. I don't need that anymore. <laughs> Travis says, man, that thing is dirty. <laughs> yes, it is, yep. Travis. 
That is years and years of dirt from all over the country stuck That's, to that thing. Yeah. Gosh, Washington, Montana, Utah. Utah. I don't remember if I brought this. Anyway, here we are. <clears throat> okay, so good times. So let's see what's in here. I've, I've actually never, ever assembled a set of these. So I don't really know what I'm actually getting into. Other than I know I've got a mess waiting inside of that. I need a garbage can up here. Thanks, dude. <clears throat> oh, we've got all sorts of hardware in here. So let's see. This comes with its own four link, which that's fine. I mean, it's probably better than fine. That's good. I like that. It's fine. Does this get screwed down? Yep. Yeah. Three. Okay. And that looks like it's a yep. flat head. So I see a flat head in here. All right. So I'm going to move some of this stuff around. I'm just going to cut this hardware open. I'm opening the hardware. I'm going to dump it off, but you guys won't see where it is because it's off camera because I can't fit everything in the camera. I've always had that problem. Always too much. Let's see. I don't even know what to assemble first. I wonder what's that. Oh, yeah, that's all right. We went over last time. We'll probably go over tonight. That's that's okay. I don't know if there's a particular order that I'm supposed to be putting this together, so I'm just putting it together. I don't know if there's instructions out there. No, I mean, you pretty much just... But I'm suspecting that it's pretty much just... Assemble and go! Oh, drop the screw. Thanks. Yep. Yep. Maybe I need to put a little curb on this thing. Which I do need to check the level on this workbench because I think I need to or what kick you, it kick it back a hair. What would be cool is or if you did like a magnetic strip. Oh yeah. Right That's actually a good idea. I'll have to talk to Heath. See if get some big wait that doesn't seem like it even screwed into anything that's not the right screw that would be the problem see sometimes <laughs> yeah i just do the wrong thing and that's okay i wonder if i could i wonder i wonder if do i do i even still have the black body yeah um, whatever let's see okay so this 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 so I, I feel like I read somewhere that the little plastic bearing caps that come in here will get trashed. Um, I'm not planning on driving this thing gently. I never have. Noel says, are, there, are those plastic? Yes, no, they are plastic. Yeah, they are plastic. Um, Travis, I don't feel like working on his front axle, honestly. Yeah, no, it's it's going to be another... It'll be another night. ...case of mess. And just because of timing, I'm just going to try to get through as much of the rear as I can. Uh, but this uh, may help Sean, actually, because he's going to get to see the inside of this. And I know he was, had some questions about where bearings and all that stuff go. All right, so... I am. Uh, I got sidetracked. I've got these little aluminum units. That sounds sketchy, I guess. But <clears throat> I'm going to use these bearing caps instead once I get this apart, which is probably going to be. I already feel. I feel like it's reeking grease. I feel like I need to get like a towel or a paper towel. <laughs> Actually, that, that might not be a bad idea. Some paper towels. Well, I've got a rag over here. I mean, it's not... Do you care if it gets... If it gets greasy? Yeah. It's already got stains of all sorts of... That's probably what I'd probably... Yeah. Well, once you get a little bit further along... Well, my plan was probably to use that to keep my hands minimally greasy. Oh, see, you know, I assembled that, and I didn't even think I could use this scale hardware, but, but it's yeah. tucked down in there. So we'll, we'll circle back around to that. Yeah, you can Not use some of it. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Because I think so. you're going to be reusing those lockouts. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we will. Okay. We will be reusing the lockouts. Uh, I think. We will be... I don't... Oh, yeah. We may be, we may be having some fun getting the, the shafts and everything out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to be super 
<laughs> Super fun. Let's see. So that is one lockout. Let's see if I'm gonna get lucky. Oh yeah, that's just wow. So this used to be red goo. Now it's a pink flesh peach brown. Brown? I don't know. It looks weird. This looks like I just took a baby's temperature. <laughs> it's oh so my bad. god, that's horrible. Actually. I'm a bad person. I know. Okay, so that's disgusting. We'll sit it aside. <clears throat> Why did I... I loosened this, and then I just didn't finish taking it. Oh, that's why. Okay. Losing my mind. Mwah ha 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 ha. Okay. Let's see. Yes, Sean. There is a giveaway tonight. There is a giveaway every time that we do this. We're going to be giving something away. Oh, that's nasty. Is it nasty? I touched it. Dude, I touched why would you touch that? Oh, that one's. I don't. I don't know, man. How does it get like? Ew. Is it kind of? Yeah, that's all I have to. But say. at least these are never ever rusted. Mm -hmm. That's right. They have never ever rusted. I don't even remember which. These look like prototype shafts. Probably they are, but they've been holding up. Man, how old are these things? I don't even know what when I put those in. Um, it's been a while. Some of you may or may not know this, but we make axle shafts as well. And oh yeah, even this this bolt has goo on it. Ew! Ew! Wow. There's a nut in there. It's just not even coming out. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. I don't know if I need it. <clears throat> well, you actually you're not gonna need it because once you the 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 diff cover has its own screws. Okay, yeah, so that so. that's true because I don't have to hold the two halves and have together anymore. Together. Yeah, okay, good times. Yeah, so I guess I could. Of course, this probably makes me more prone to, you know, go off screen with whatever I'm doing. But maybe it's slightly more interesting for you guys to see it up close. I don't um, know. Yes, yes, Travis, those would be his OT shafts. Yeah, they are, shapes. Travis. They are uh, They are the original. Those are the actual original, original OT shafts. Like proto, proto, prototype. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and they are, yeah, God, I made those, because that's right, I forgot. When I first made shafts, I just made them as much beef in there as I possibly could. Um, we've gotten a little more savvy about making shafts now. Uh, we've tried to make it so that when they, they break, they break in the center, if you can actually break one. That way you don't lose a, a wheel. And that was the reason that we went away from these um, super, can we go, do you know where the shafts are in the other room? Yeah. Will you grab a set of the new OT shafts, I guess? Yeah. Whatever. <clears throat> and I will. That way I can show. Oh, here's. The, here. Okay, you're going to miss the reveal, though, just so you know. No, actually, um, I got to stay for this reveal because it's been such a long time. Eh. Well, that's not that bad. It's just disgusting brown. Blech. That was red. Actually, yeah, you can see it's still red right there. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that looks like a chunk that's like hardened sop. That's going to be like a good. Is it like jelly? I, I I almost don't want to touch it. That's that's actually good to hear, Travis. That you never that you uh, that you never broke uh, one of the locked up shafts. Yeah, that's that's nasty. Oh. <clears throat> Anybody want some axle housings? They come with free stuff. Man, sorry, it's <clears throat> it's been a long time, but let's see. Let's, let's see how our bearings are in here with all this grease. Good. Yeah, no movement. Oh, yeah. It's like the Uncle Buck car. Base is good for another 100,000 miles. Something like that. I may be misquoting that. And if so, I apologize because I, I do like that movie. Let's see. So we got our... MIP shaft that we can 
course, reuse. Ugh. And get the gunk out. May have to just, you know, maybe we'll just replace some of the bearings while we're in here. Because although they're in good shape, I mean, I don't take housings apart very often. I'm going to be the first one to admit <clears throat> I don't do a whole lot of maintenance. I try to do preventive things. So uh, I'm not generally one to take things apart. I'm thinking I may just put new bearings and new housing just on principle, you know. So let's see. Ugh. Let me grab one of these nasty boys. Where is my tool that I want? That guy. There he is. Yeah, I'm not going to put those in, but I just figured I'd, for, for happy thoughts, just compare. So what I'm doing here is just for fun. I guess you could call it fun. Ugh. It's been on there for a while. Gosh, maybe replacing some things. See, look, that's kind of red down there at the end. Hey, but I'll wait. Oh, wait, that's... Focus, camera. Ah, oh, focus. Why does it always focus on my hand and not the thing I want it to focus on? Anyway, I guess it's hard to focus on goo. It may actually be hard to see, but... Oh, this... No, these must be something else. Oh, wait, no, that's right. I'm sorry. I forgot that I trimmed the end. Yeah, you can kind of see the size difference between the current OT shaft and the original just a chunk of fat. Um, Which I'll just throw the chunk of fat back in there, I guess. It's not like I'm prepping this it, thing to be competitive. I'm just, I want to be able to drive it again. Uh, have yeah, it look reasonably scale. So I forgot that you actually had thrown on one of the, uh, like, one of your um, rubber, foot, like, I guess, like, lockout, you know, to keep water out. Did I? Yeah, you did. That's what that is. Oh, hey, look. So <clears throat> we sell in the shop. Um, so Travis, no, he doesn't need new bearings. <laughs> yeah, I don't need new bearings, but I'm, I may put them on anyway. But we sell in the shop some silicone spacers. If you type in silicone, that'll probably pop up. But that's been protecting, I guess, everything behind the pin. It also usually generally will help hold the pin in place if you pull your hex off, stuff like that. And it's it's actually, I don't know if you guys will even be able to see this, but it's still squishy and responsive. So that's nice. So good good stuff. Should we just wipe the goo off of this or just reuse the goo? Is this going to slide in there? Oh, man. I don't know. What do you that's think? That's up to you. New bearings? Yeah, definitely new bearings. Okay. Uh, will you grab me some bearings? Yeah. Do you know where they are? Yes, sir. Um, I guess we need two, what are those, 10 by 15s, I want to say. Do you want me to grab you, or do you want to do all new bearings? Yeah, we're just going to do the rear axle. I feel like this is so two, two 10 by 15s and should be, what, two 5 by 11 by 4s? Yeah, like okay, that. thank you, sir. Eric is going to go fetch us some bearings from the other room. <clears throat> oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to keep the original shafts uh, just, I don't know, why not? Um, it's not that there's anything wrong with the new shafts, but I'm not I'm not really prepping this truck to be competitive anymore. Gears look like they're in good shape too. Uh, I'm not prepping the truck to be competitive anymore. Um, this is kind of more of just for fun, right? I mean, pff, it's like I've got a an RC truck and I'm just gonna have fun with it. I know it's crazy, but <clears throat> you know. Woo! So let me see. Uh, I'm put this. Wait, where'd my lockout go? Did he take the lockout? No, right there. Okay. I'm trying to not touch things any more than I have to. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. It's not really that gross. Just a little. Just a little. So actually, those can stay exactly like they were. Ooh, close up of freckles. Tight fit. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so let me see. This was my drive shaft that will have to go back on. I need. Oh, actually, I'm going to need four. Let me give me one second. 
Okay, I'm going to need four of these five by 11 by fours. Four? Yes. Okay, we're back. Sorry. Eric is in the other room getting some bearings together. And I forgot that if I'm going to replace the bearings on the outside, I may as well replace the bearings in the lockouts and, uh, and the pinion. Wipe that old stuff off. No, man, this grease is good stuff. I don't actually, do I have other grease up here? I don't have other grease up here. I probably will the, wipe the goo off the axle shafts. Um, I don't need to wipe it off of these housings because I, what? Uh, the five by 11 by four and then uh, 10 by 15. 10 by 15, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Two of those, yeah. Of those, yeah. So, yay, new bearings. Thank you, Eric. Eric went and got us some bearings. So I believe that's the right size for this unless they changed something. No, we're good. Okay, so. New bearings. Inside and outside. Let's see. Oh, actually, that looks like when I angle things that way, it sheds a little bit of light in there. Aha! Learned something. Yeah, this is just... So I don't have any grease up here, and I don't know where my grease is buried, <clears throat> but it's outside. So I probably will just leave a little bit of residual goo in here. Thank you, Eric. Yep. Oh, yay. <clears throat> I'm, I'm way off center of the camera here. I'm not good at that. Let's see. Okay, so we got that. These go in the lockout, so I'm going to put those guys over there. I'm going to have to touch this. Hey, will you grab me some uh, paper towels? Not toilet paper, because I think it'll leave lint everywhere. Do you know where the paper towels are? Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Woohoo! Okay. Yeah. I mean, why would I get rid of this delicious grease? Zach, uh, that's a bummer. I can tell you that I have only maintained this vehicle when I've had to because of things like the grease that was in there. Um, you know, this just seems like it lasts forever. It's good stuff. This is also, gosh, I don't even know. This locker actually probably predates, this may predate the FI spool. Or I changed it out for heavyweight. I can't remember. There's just so much goo on it. Oh, man. It's delightful. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, no, that's one of our heavyweights. Okay, so I actually have been back in this axle at some point because I put one of our spools in here. So I think this is ours. Who knows? <clears throat> this could have come from... I'll have to go back and check the specs because it's not like I'm ever going to get enough goo off of that thing to see the finish to know if that's ours or not. But I can't remember. I know it's not, was it bonus line made lockers, but his were silver. So it's not a bonus line because I had one of those in my AX10. I think this is one of our heavyweights. Yeah, I think those are one of, yeah. That's one so of that means that I have gone back in here at some point and I put this guy in there, but I don't know. Yeah, that's what it is. <clears throat> but I don't know when I did that. Good times, man. You. Yay! You can see numbers. It's an, it's an underdrive. It is an underdrive. Oh, I knew that. Oh, I'm never going to get this off my hands. What, that? Yeah. Oh. I was like, what, what do you want? Scalpel! Let's see, so new bearings. That makes me happy. Still a good fit. Still a good fit. Drop that bad boy in there. Okay. Uh, I'm never gonna that's never gonna come off my hands all the way. Ever. Where'd the other housing go? It's right there. Okay. Woo! Uh let's see, I need to put the straps on. This is the strap. It's being difficult. 
I'm not really being difficult. It's just not doing exactly what I want. Oh wait, is that come up a lip or anything? No. I feel like that should line up, but there we go. Interesting. Okay, so this must use these little guys. No, that's gotta be the diff cover. So this has to be using these, right? The these are like M two and a halfs, maybe. Is there another one of these guys floating around? Did I Here accidentally? Are you? Oh, okay. All right. All right, we are back at it. Getting our bearing caps in. Maybe. Let's see. And since these screws have never gone in. You know, oh, oh, hey! Wah, wah. Since no screws have ever gone in here, we're going to be threading this, so it may require a little bit of force. Not too bad, though. Get that over in place. Yeah. I will have to grease this guy. I guess it'll be easier to grease it since all we have to do, <clears throat> and I guess that's one of the nice things about this is that all we have to do to grease the differential in here is pull off the diff cover, not take the whole axle apart. So that will make things slightly better. And you know, when these axle housings came out at the time, these were just, oh, everybody wanted these because they just looked so much more scale. Now I will admit they do not look quite as scale as some of the newer stuff or, you know, some of the nice machined aluminum housings that are out there. <clears throat> but if you've already got under overdrive, if you've already got all your axle shafts and everything that you want to plop in here, you know, unless you're trying to compete at a seriously high level, and, and at the time this was a high level truck, but unless you're really trying to compete at a super high level, there is no reason to not just reuse all the, the goodies that are in this housing. Let's see. Oh, I need to put that on that. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. Let's see. I find these bearing caps to be kind of weird to get lined up. But maybe it's just me. I don't know. Uh, where'd my screw go? There we go. <clears throat> <laughs> trying to do it and not cover everything up don't ask about the foams oh yeah oh Zach you don't want to know about the foams that are in here you would you wouldn't be happy I vent all of my wheels I don't vent the tires and I submerge this truck all the time so what goes in stays in and every couple of years when I get the urge to change out wheels, I take those tires off and there's just chunk of nasty whatever foam left in there. It's disgusting. It's fantastic though. That's just, I don't know. I guess by the time the foams are completely destroyed, I feel like it's probably time to replace the tires anyway. So, you know, anybody want some bearings? They're greasy. Slightly used mild usage on them but for the most part they're fine it's fine okay so we've got our diff in how's it feeling it good? feels like it doesn't move at all so what you need so what you need to do is that you got the bearing caps on too tight so you need to back the screws up just a tiny bit I don't even understand how that would make a difference. It's not like it's compressing the... I do the other side too. That doesn't make sense. No, it was... Oh, there was a chunk of dirt in there. It was not the bearing caps. Because <laughs> once it let go, it let go. I was like, man, that's the bearing caps. This is not a one-to-one. -one. You need to shim it, run a gear pattern, get out your yellow chalk. Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. Okay. There's just, you know, I've got all this dirt on the table. Why are we out of focus? Oh, guys. Eh. Here we go. 
Sometimes. Did I get dirt on the lens? That would be fun. I'm doing this and it's like spraying grease. Or <laughs> it would be funny if you got grease on the... No, 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 don't, don't touch! No, no, no! Okay, so this is better. There is definitely residual grease on here. Goo. There's residual goo. So until I get, go find whatever my nice marine grease and can load this bad boy up again, I am going to just leave greasy fingerprints. Yeah, uh, I'm go just going to leave. Do the whatever. last one since your fingers are all greasy there. Do the last one. What do you mean? You like put all the screws in for the diff cover? Sure, if you want to. Sure. Actually, you could attach. Wait, no, we're not attaching that. This is no. the rear axle. I'm losing my mind. Yeah. Uh, you could attach the lockouts. Um, that little set screw needs to go in the hex. I'm going to go get scale hardware for this because if we're putting a scale axle on, I feel like it should have scale hardware. hardware. Yeah, so. Go yeah, do no. that, and we'll take over for you. Let's see. This is one, two, All right. Five. Let's see. So, All right. Let's, let's do this. All right. I guess I need to put that one back. Then, grab that one. Start grabbing some of these little hardware. Doing this fun stuff. Tell you what, on the on this, yes, sir. All right, first one's in. Yay! So, do you want to do the scale hardware? Instead of these, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why oh. I got it. That's why I said, oh, yeah. If you uh, you put the, <laughs> the set screw back in that, ew. <laughs> more than you. Ew. Hey, there's more than ew. I don't even want to touch these. Oh, that's fine. It's just grease. <laughs> it's not actually baby poo. Baby poo. It just looks like it. All right, so I'm gonna. Throw these back. I don't know what you're gonna do with those little screws, but whatever. Um, I don't know either. But you gotta which, make sure which ones do you want to use for the. So I guess which screws do you want to use? <clears throat> uh, well, I grabbed sevens and I grabbed fives. It looks like theirs are sixes. Yeah. Um. So probably this. The sevens may be too long. I'll try the sevens first. So try seven. See. If it's too long, then we're on fives. <laughs> my thought oh you know what forgot something what what did we forget okay that one ah, grab the wrong one well I have greasy hands I don't think we'll be okay Oh, the giveaway? Yeah, I forgot the giveaway, man. Oh, so why are you doing that? All right. So, for those of you that have been waiting patiently, hopefully I'm still coming in loud and clear. <clears throat> so, while Eric is doing that on one side of the screen, <clears throat> so our giveaway winner last week, I guess I could announce that first, was Eric Phillips, or Philip, I can't remember. I'm a bad person. Uh, he selected some AR60 diff covers from the stuff that we had up for the giveaway last week. This week, since we worked on a TRX4, we have... Uh, those are actually hard to even see because they're white. So I'm going to put this rag out. So we have some TRX4 style jerry cans. So some scale stuff. The mounting... I don't know. What do, you, what do you call those? Brackets? The mounting brackets for the jerry cans? Mounting brackets for the jerry cans. So whoever wins is going to get their choice of whichever mount and whichever jerry can they want. And we are going to give away a, one of our original, well, not original, but our second prototype for the TRX4 FI spool. So if you guys want to win the spool and your choice of these things, we need you guys to give the Locked Up RC Facebook page a like, and please share this video when it is done. 
Maybe you can share it now. I don't know. I don't know how all of Facebook works, but something like that. And next Monday, we will go ahead and we will look through all of the people that shared the video. And we will pick someone that has shared the video. Uh, you can share it to as many places as you want. But basically, we take all of your names, drop them in a hat, and then we pick one. And if that person has also liked the Locked Up RC Facebook page, they win a prize. So, that is what we've got for you guys for this week. Next week it will be something else. Nice. But it will be something, because we will do something every week. I'm sure that made a lovely sound. Is anybody else working on anything tonight? Or are you, or are you guys just watching me wrench? Slowly but surely, I am getting this done. Woohoo! Hand tools, baby, for the win. Yeah. Well, at least that way you don't strip one out. True. True that. Oh, water is so good sometimes. <clears throat> See if I can get that better for you. It's it only goes down so far and then it's like it self adjusts. Ah. That's that's better. There we go. Now people can see. Get him ready for rock best. Sweet. Trying to strike up a deal on RC parts I need. Bill is in a holding pattern. That happens. That All happens. of us have been in, in a position where we've had to collect some parts. I am still there with both of my trucks. About two years later, still there. I feel like I do a really good job developing a plan of what parts I'm gonna want slash need, and then I pile them up, and then I look at them for a while. And then, for some reason, it just takes me forever to get to them. Sweet! So, so little bit of scale hardware. I like it, it looks good. Yeah, man. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what now? Uh, so let's see. Now we've got to put the lockouts, lockouts. on. Yeah, so this was M two by sevens. Yes. Oh, you know what? I had a whole ton of M two by seven scale hardware in a bin. We did not even need to open this bag. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, okay. Yeah, right. we'll figure it out. Wow. This, and wow, this is like one of the. I would say this is probably like one of the original like underdrive gears because it's got the flat spot and not the through hole yeah <laughs> yep okay lockouts Ugh. yeah we could probably wipe some of the turd off of that <laughs> so i'll let patrick do that okay i'll get in there um or actually you know what let me before you do oh, that you gotta put that set screw back in whichever i think it's the other wheel hex i took off yeah do you, all right I tell you, yeah, because I need to probably do that one because you still got some grass and stuff in between Sweet. there. Sweet. So let me do that real quick. That's character. Yeah. Yeah, because who who likes a clean truck? Not me. Yeah. I like it dirty. Yeah. Yeah, who knows what state that came from. I may have accidentally imported illegal plants. Oh, this is invasive species. Oh, and it's greasy. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 you don't even know what I'm doing over here. Oh, oh my goodness. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> so this, this just came off of one of the axle shafts. It just looks like a, oh, it's not even a stripe. Good. It's not in focus, I think, because, yeah, yeah, we've just got a, a lovely. Goose stripe there. Ugh. Nasty. I'm just making a mess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm confusing things now. This, what, wait. Okay, that needs to go back over there with me. That's your stuff. <clears throat> we don't want to lose this set screw for the dry shaft. I'll put it in there. What are you looking for? 
to the bathroom. No, no, no. Oh. Are you waiting on me? Yes. Oh, we need to get the bearings off of here. Oh. So you gotta have to. Oh, my! I'm, I'm doing this part. You're letting me do the greasy part. Yes. Oh, okay. I, uh, I didn't know what you were doing. I'll let you do the greasy part, and then. Oh, all right. Here we go. Uh, waiting on wheels from locked up. Wow, I was right. They are not they are not rusty at all. Nope. Oh. Sorry. And here's the bearings. Oh, yep, just need one. Yep. For now. Nice and tight still. Splendid. Splendid. Okay, these man. We got our own lockout thing for this. I think we can you want to throw some on? Nah, this is fine. I'm gonna say this is like I said, this isn't <clears throat> this isn't a competition truck or anything. It just needs to look decent and cool. Cool and tough. Alright, let's see. So I'll put a little spacer back in there. Yeah, man. These things held all the grease in. Well, and they also kept a lot of the water out, too. So. Okay, that's one for you. All right. So, <clears throat> man. Uh, we got to focus for some reason. There we go. All right. Yeah. So, there's... I think when you reach your hand in from under, it'll catch, like, part of your arm. So, you either got to have your hand like this yeah, or something. I don't know. So, there you go. Or you got to reset it with putting your hand there. I don't know. Oh, I forgot. I touched it. Nasty. All right, so I'm gonna do this one first. Oh, I think we may have actually lost the rubber spacer on this side. Did you pull one of the rubber spacers off? No. So to. somehow I must have taken one off and forgot to put it back on. Hey, so let me ask you something. Before That's I start, you. before I go and put this in, does this need a bearing right here, huh. or no? Uh well there's wait I mean it's a it's a bearing pocket yeah no 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 okay. it, it wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't work with a, a bearing unless they unless they don't use factory lockouts which could be possible and I just don't know it which would be hilarious to find out about right now no. <laughs> When I say it would be hilarious, I mean that wouldn't be funny at all. All good? Sounds like you got something snapped together. There we go. In my plan. Okay, there's that one. All right. I did not see uh, where my spacer went for that one. So when I go back to grease it, I'll have to add a, another silicone spacer in there. If anybody else wants to have a giveaway and win some just dirty paper towels full of nasty grease, you just let me know. First person to say they want it. Just cover the postage. <laughs> what a prize! Uh, Mike, they did not come with their own lockouts. <clears throat> they come with a a diff cover, the housing. This is your three link and a four link in here also, and then just hardware. There may be, there may have been a time where they sold them with lockouts, but that's not what we got our hands on. So. Hey Mike, thank you for the order. Uh, the wheels should ship tomorrow. Pretty much anything that you order, generally, for the most part, I will say. When you guys place an order with us, if it's before, I think our cutoff is 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, that pretty much means it's going to go out that day. And I say pretty much because we're human and sometimes we make mistakes, sometimes technology gets the best of us. Uh, 
and sometimes we are crazy busy. So, you know, if it's Black Friday and you order something at 12.59 and you ordered it standard processing time, it may not go out the same day. But for the most part, they'll go out the same day. Everything good? Did you find the set screw for that one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, this thing is like crazy tight. Yeah. Maybe okay, back the set screw out? There it goes. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's hard to get used to doing things with the camera there. Yeah, actually, I mean, it, it is. All right. So, I guess lock out. Screws. Do do. Yeah, so be that guy. So, this guy. Woohoo! Multi hands. Woo! Multi hands. Octopus. <clears throat> now, if it's easier for you, Eric, I can move the camera up so that it's pointing down more that way it's not as close to your shoulder it's no i'm good you. Okay. i'm good I think it, it may focus better or worse that way i don't i don't know which is different <sighs> hey mike which 10 2 axle housings are you looking at and the reason that I ask is because I have so many original SCX 10s like this truck that I want to update. So this guy I'm updating these on because this was my first one and I know that as, you know, as cool looking as these axles are, they're still kind of older technology uh, because of the running gear. But with my other OG SCX 10s, I'd like to probably convert them to SCX 10 2 housings I'm just not sure I think the only thing that I know is I, I feel like I'm probably not gonna be a fan of the 10-2 housings that have the molded knuckles the C's if you will yeah the inner knuckle I guess whatever the inner C's yeah because I feel like I mean you know, if that breaks your whole housing you toss you know you got some crazy expensive options from Vanquish um, I know SSD makes some, we carry them. I haven't actually installed any myself though, so I don't know what I'm looking at. Your set screw for that's up here, Eric. Okay. Just FYI. <clears throat> so, yeah. Let's do... Anyway, so curious to see what, what other people are enjoying for their 10 2 housings. Uh, my SCX 10 2 has the original 10 2 housings, so those have the clamp on C's. Which I haven't had any problems with, but we'll see what happens. All right. Is that all good? It is all good, sir. My turn? All right. Yes, sir. Okay, so back at it. Back in the saddle again. So I believe these two screws were part of, were holding the two halves of the housing together, as were those two. So we won't, I'm just trying to get some of the grease off my hands. <clears throat> this is free if anyone wants it. It's just a wad of. I don't know. We'll send this to someone. There's people that need dirty paper towels somewhere, right? Is that is that a thing? Probably not. Uh, more dirt for the floor. Whee! So, this is all, oh, man, stuff's everywhere. Okay, so we need to reattach this and that's pretty much it right yes sir so let's see that's that that's that what else these um, look like are these different oh no there they are haha -ha. i was so wait whoa now we do have extra hold on slow your roll hey i'm just I'm slow it those were the link mounts so those were so those were holding the housing together. What were these two? What were those holding on? Oh, okay. Those were holding the housings together. These were holding the four link down. Okay, that's well, that's what's going on. <clears throat> Sorry, trying to figure out our spare hardware situation. Yeah, we're good. Now I wonder. I'm wondering if the. <clears throat> Why do you just keep bombing stuff? Um, I know where it was. Put it back. <laughs> See, look, now I dropped it. 
Ah, curses. Now I don't know where it is. Okay. So, our four link top, we were running this guy. Right? I yeah. don't know that that's any more or less scale than anything else, but. <clears throat> or not scale, but. How long, how long is this thing? I may have to bust out the, the hardware bin. Let's see how long this is. Because <clears throat> I think... I think, let's see, 30. Will you open the hardware bin that's down there and see if you can find a 30 millimeter scale hex bolt? Because, see, back when I actually put this truck together, I did not have any M3 by 30 scale hex bolts. But now, we make them. So if I have one in my my bin of miscellaneous, which it does not look like I do. Mm -hmm. Can you go grab me one, please? No, that's all M2 stuff. Please, that is so organized. No one wants to go in there. Yeah, it's 25. <clears throat> anyway. I have something that Matthew wants. Moi, ha, ha. Are you talking about the King Jero? I believe you are. Still got it. <clears throat> Sorry, I got to take a break for some water. Woo! Let me think. So, putting these back together, Eric just dumped all this hardware on me, so <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what needs to go where. So, this is what it came with. We're going to replace this with a scale hex bolt. So, I will set this aside. These two, what were these for? can't yeah that's too short what what are these for they don't thread into there they're not for that why did they send us these two screws <laughs> so we've got some some button heads Eric I couldn't tell you what these button heads are for uh, button heads. like 15 16 mil button heads yeah where do, where do they what do they attach to they came with the housing so that's all oh, of our scale hardware. Ah, yes. We forgot that there is a front three-link bracket that is included, so they included these also. And what's funny is that they apparently it comes with two. Well, no. So the it's either the the bag comes with a front and a rear, so that way whatever you're doing, you've got the parts you need. That's fine. I mean that to mold that thing probably was not not too big a deal. Uh, would you dump the rest of this in? that bin wherever it was <clears throat> and that way it'll be safe Woohoo! okay nuts oh nuts so I'm now that we're at this point I'm wondering and fingers crossed that when they designed this they designed it to be a direct fit for the stock setup and I'm not gonna have to tweak any links but we're gonna find out go in your home are you too good for your home there you go <laughs> good old Kentucky Hero Mart. <sighs> yeah I almost busted out a blazing saddle reference <laughs> but you know nobody will get that so yeah. that's fine any fans of the movie blazing saddles because if you are Oh, that would just make it so much better for me because then I can start quoting that movie and someone will get it. I don't need everyone in the room to get the jokes. You know, if there's just like the one guy in the back, if I was a comedian, there'd be one guy in the back laughing at my jokes and that's who I would be telling them for. And I'd just keep doing it and everyone else would be like, this dude sucks. That's fine. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got... That done, that done. Now we need these. I can't remember if the shocks were on the inside or the outside of the links. I, I got to imagine they're on the outside, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll do the shocks. We had a spacer in here also, a little super teeny tiny spacer. I don't know that that's going to be necessary with this setup, but we'll put it on there just to see. You can always pull it back out. 
did anyone admit to, to being a fan of Blazing Saddles yet? Uh, I'm no, but open. Travis Damn. was asking a question. What's he got? Travis says, I know that this has nothing to do with what you're building now, but what hubcaps will fit your SLW compatible wheels? Pretty much all of them, right? So let's see. Our SLW compatible wheels will our ultra hubs fit. I know that. Um, I would imagine that VP hubs would fit. I mean, so the way that SLW wheels go together, anything that fits an SLW wheel should fit our SLW wheel. Uh, the only potential, I guess, caveat to that is going to be <clears throat> um, our Hellcat wheels. So the way that they are machined, if you're running scale hardware for the, like the <clears throat> scale, I can't talk anymore. If you're running wheel studs, whoo, there we go. Yeah, I probably need water. <clears throat> um, if you're running the wheel studs with the Hellcats, it is much better to go with the flange style. That way you can get a two and a half millimeter socket because that will fit down into the little recess with the Hellcat. But other than that, I, I can't think of uh, any... I guess oddities with our SLW wheels, um, you know, beef patties, all that, all that stuff. Everything should work. So you should be able to run whatever scale hub you want. I, I believe even the the Vanquish uh, scale. It's not a hub as much as it is like a hub flange something. I don't know. <clears throat> whatever you call those things. Uh, those also should fit. Yes, people are making me think. It's Monday. It's like 9.30. You can't be making me think Monday at 9.30. Uh, okay, Travis, this is, I've already the four Scale-worn hubcaps. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, those are our ultra hubs. <clears throat> so ours don't say worn on them. So if you need worn specific ones, you'd have to find someone that makes those. Uh, but ours are kind of more of a generic design. Um, I think they they might actually even look a little bit more like super winch hubs, except they're not blue. Um, but they actually no wait I take that back. Uh, they look like the worn standard hubs, so not the premiums. So many things to think about. And when I say they look like the worn premium hubs, I mean they look like Dana 60, Dana 44 premium hubs, not like the Dana 30 lockout conversion, whatever thing. Did I just finish and not pay attention? Except I didn't put the drive shaft in. Damn! Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Good job. You guys distracted me. And I am actually glad that that happened, though, because I... Do want to put just this little, little tiny dab of Loctite on this set screw for the rear drive shaft because I had a, I had a bad experience one time with this drive shaft at Scale Nationals. <laughs> you remember that? Oh yeah. Just finishing a course with two wheel drive uphill it was awesome. By awesome, I mean it was hilarious for the spectators and frustrating for me. I lost to that set screw. Yeah, this is the, as Eric mentioned before, this is an old set of the underdrive gears. <clears throat> and there is no through hole. It's just a flat spot. So, let us take a look and see what we have done. Get on down there, camera. So that's what we're looking at. Of course, it's still the camera. I like how the camera is focusing on the back wall and not where I want it to focus. Damn you, camera. Anyway, so we got the rear axle in. We've got a lot of extra dirt. If anyone needs some fill dirt for their yard, this is good old Texas dirt probably, and maybe some from other places. 
So we've got our rear axle in. I'm happy. Um, it looks like the links worked out. Everything is still the same. Uh, the pinion angle was probably not perfect, but I doubt that it ever was. So all in all, I am happy with that. So let's see. We can put these back on. Or... At some point, I will have to change out these wheels and tires, but for now, oh, this is going to be like you just took a shower and then you put on muddy clothes. <laughs> just like, ew. Ah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> what I will do is, um, when I post this video on YouTube, I'll get a nice good picture in our photo booth that's behind me, and, uh, I will post it so that you guys can see what the, the rear axle looks like um, under proper lighting without these weird angles and everything um, for anyone that's interested. I can't, who asked me, somebody asked about these wheels. Do you remember if we have any more of these wheels? No, you wouldn't know. Why am I, I, know, I, I forget. I don't know. Let's see. Rah. So whoever was uh, asking about the, let's see, I guess I could just look up there and look at it. So Travis, you were asking about the um, the hubs. This is This is what we got on the front, if this is what you're referring to. Um, the color probably is going to look a little weird, but it's not the hubs. It's because the wheels are actually gold. Golden chromate. I'll try to get a better angle here for you. Yeah, it's hard to get lighting right in here because we've got a lot of light. But anyway, these are actually our adversary 8Ls that were done with a golden chromate. Uh, and those are our ultra hubs. So we've got adversaries also in SLW. I can't remember if we have an A08 or not. Um, I think we do, but I'm not, I'm not positive. Um, but ultra hubs should work with all of our wheels. So I think that actually pretty much, let me see, did I miss anything? Everything's back together. We've got dirt everywhere, which is excellent. My hands are greasy. Two different wheels. No, they're they're all the same. Uh, they may look different because of shadows, because we've got some big lights over there and over here. But they are all adversary adults, golden chromate, set of four. <clears throat> but anyway, oh no, the tires are the same also. Um, they're all RC four wheel drive Baja claws. I don't know. Some of them are dirtier than no. They're all filthy. None of them are clean. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna say that. But anyway, so we've got all that back together. Uh, I'm gonna put this back on its mounts. <sighs> and then we will basically be done with this guy. So, if anybody is interested in making a, a little body mount kit like this, I, I really like this. Um, I feel like it kind of looks like a one-to-one, -one, but it allows me to squish everything down nice and tight, and I can still use clips, so it's easy to get on and off, but it's uh, very hidden. This is... I guess I, I spoiled myself when I made this the first time because now I, I don't like seeing body clips on anything. But anyway, so there we go. Uh, so nice clean axle housing under a filthy dirty truck, which is probably the opposite of what I see driving around here. Because, you know, people clean their wheels and stuff. And then they have these giant muddy monster trucks and everything. Woohoo! So there you go. SSD axle housing under the H2 in the rear. 
Uh, we may do the front next time, or we may save that for another day. No rush either way. As always, if you guys have suggestions for videos, please drop us a line and let us know. I think that is it. We already talked about the giveaway. I will remind, in case anybody tunes in, tuned in late, we are giving away some TRX4 parts. You can rewind the video, I think, on here or on YouTube, here being Facebook, because that's where this airs originally. And see the details on that, that aside, I think that's it. Uh, I want to thank everyone for tuning in and sticking with us, especially through those early technical hiccups, I guess. We try to make every show better, so always open to suggestions, comments, all that good stuff. I hope you guys have a great night, and I want to thank Eric for joining me. Thank you, Eric. No problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, always a pleasure. And that is going to do it for us. You guys have a good night, and we will see you next week. See you guys.